Hi, I'm Mark with the St. Lucie County Library System. And I'm Eric with the County's Communications Division, and this is another Monday Music Minute brought to you by the St. Lucie County Library System, which allows you to download and stream ad-free music thanks to your library card. Eric, i got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What's the last thing the drummer said to the band before being fired? Hey, guys, I just wrote a new song. Correct. That is, unless your name's Neil Pert. Uh, Neil, who recently passed away this January in 2020, was the primary songwriter and the drummer for the progressive rock group Rush. Um, he is one of, if not the greatest percussionist in the modern era. Rush was a three-piece band known for complex music, intelligent lyrics, and layers of drums that would leave fans with their mouths hanging open after a solo. Sadly, Freegal only has two recordings from Rush, but they're doozies. Both discs are collections of live recordings where you can hear how powerful the band was. Some of the songs include our Spirit of Radio, Working Man, Fly By Night, and songs off the 2112 concept record. What do you have, Eric? This week, I'm going to shine a light on the bass player. Now, I've got friends who play bass, Angelique, Rebecca, and Ruben. And while the bass player doesn't catch as much flack as the drummer does, the bass player still needs more love. Except for Sting. That guy gets the love for hours. Practice makes perfect. My pick this week is punk rock pioneer and bassist Mike Watt. Watt started his musical career in one of my favorite 80s punk trios, the Minutemen. If you don't own double nickels on a dime, shame on you. The group never saw any commercial success or radio airplay, yet I'm willing to bet most of you have heard a Minuteman song, thanks to Johnny Knoxville and crew for using their song Corona as the intro to the MTV series and movies Jackass. But after the death of frontman D. Boone, who, who joined the 27 Club in 1985 after the band's van crashed in the Arizona desert, Watts soldiered on in a band called Firehose and later on as a solo artist. Freegal has a ton of Watts work. Check out his 1985 release, Ball Hog or Tugboat. And if you are a Minuteman fan, check out D. Boone and Friends. This reissue from 2003 features 33 tracks of unreleased live cuts recorded mostly around living rooms and house parties in 1984 and 1985. That does it for this week's Monday Music Minute. See you next time.